Hey guys, super excited about this next product, again from Mabit. Um, these are the six and a half inch speaker pods. Uh, one of the things the Bronco definitely lacks is, um, I think, good sound coming from the rear. With the four inch, I did replace, I have the BNO audio, I did replace the four inch speakers with some JL audio speakers and it sounded a little better. Um, I'm hoping this adds a little bit more range to it. Um, what we'll do is I'm gonna probably put some of this um, Canopus, which is basically the same as Dynamat. I'm gonna line the inside of this, kind of a sound deadener, put some polyfill in there. Um, I've got some kicker speakers coming, so we will try those out just to see what the sound difference is. I'll try to do a before and after, show you what it looks like. But overall, um, quality seems good. It was packaged really well. Uh, I'll show you some instructions on how to use the bracket. Looks like a pretty good solid bracket um, to replace the old ones. All right, so here are your two pods. Uh, I went ahead and put the sound dampening material in one. You can tell just based on the sound how much more solid it sounds with this. So again, I only have the, the BNO system. I do not have a separate amp running to my rear or front speakers yet. I will probably do that once I find the wiring for the kicker key um, and being able to connect to the DSP on, on the BNO system. But uh, for the meantime, uh, I'm gonna try probably one with it, one without it, see if there's any comparison. Something that maybe it also put uh, in the packaging is the connector. So you just have to buy these for about $13, $14 on Amazon. Um, he's already got those in there. So I'm gonna show you how to connect these to your speakers and to the factory wiring. Okay, so I lost audio on here, but I'll just walk you through real quick. Basically, I'm using the tools that were provided in the Bronco kit to remove the speaker pod. You've got two screws on the top. Um, I was able to use the ratchet along with one of the adapters in the kit um, to be able to remove the top two screws. And then you've also got a screw on the side that connects to the frame. We've removed the screen. We've got that front cover off. Now we just want to disconnect this wire. And what we're going to do is we're going to pinch right here at the top. There's a little button you're going to press in and you're just going to simply pull that apart. And that'll remove the actual four inch pod that we're going to replace. All right, so I chose to go with kicker six and three quarters. It does fit perfectly. Um, I have six and a halfs in the doors and they sounded good. So. I'm gonna go with these. We have the adapter that came with the Mabit product, and then we also have the wiring that came with the speakers. So we're gonna just connect these two using the little red connectors that came with the kicker. So on the original, we're gonna to need to remove the factory wiring. Um, so what we're gonna do is take a screwdriver, take, you can take a flathead, and we're just gonna go up and under and pop this out. It'll be in those two holes right here. So once we remove that, we're gonna take a screwdriver or something to help pry out this rubber gum, grommet. And we're just gonna finagle that until that also comes out. Pull that, and set aside the old pod. We're gonna reuse this. On the new pod, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna feed what Mabit sent. This will connect to the factory wiring, okay? But we're gonna to wanna to connect these two ends to the speaker. So we're gonna slide this through the hole here, feed it through. I'm gonna use the two adapters. I'm gonna connect both of these. That will give me more room so that if I ever do take the speaker out, it'll be much easier. Okay, so you wanna get the polarity right. So I'm gonna take the adapter that came with Mavit's kit. I'm attaching it to the speaker wires. Now the speaker wires have a smaller side and a larger one. So you wanna make sure your larger ones are positive. The way the coloring for mine is, and I don't know if it's different for B&O and the other system, but with this being positive, the larger one, I wanna make sure that wire is running to the brown. So just make sure those are connected because when you go to plug this into the factory wiring, you don't want those reversed. We're gonna install the speaker. Again, we're just gonna connect the wires to the bottom of it. Um, this looks upside down, but when this is flipped up, this will be facing to the front of the car and it'll be in the correct position. So I'm gonna simply use the four screws that are provided in Mavit's kit, uh, and I'm gonna plug 
or screw those four in to those points. We got the speaker pod, got everything installed. Um, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and connect this back to the factory wiring. I'm gonna tuck it in back behind here and then we're gonna be able to mount this. And again, you're gonna wanna line up your screw side over here. You've got this, again, you have that little piece that you've replaced. It's gonna snap back into here. And then that these two screws, you won't need the mounting bracket. If you have the four door, um, all you're gonna do is just use the factory screws and that'll hold everything back into place. There you go. Final product. Um, it looks good. There's a little gap right there uh, in between the actual frame itself. Um, this is the factory one. So size difference. There's definitely, definitely a size difference, but I honestly don't think it's going to obstruct from your view too much. Um, they look good. They look like they were meant, meant to be there. I'll try to do some sound comparisons, um, get a better video when it's daylight.